My name is Max Crispin, I'm Professor of Glycobiology at the University of Southampton. Now glycobiology is the study of sugars attached to proteins and lipids. Uh, this is specialising in understanding how sugars can actually contribute to the structure of biological molecules and therefore their, their function. So uh, we're funded uh, to work on vaccine development uh, because of these uh, modifications that occur on, on pathogens such as viruses. Uh, my team has been uh, spread over these different areas, but a large part of activity has been on, on developing antiviral uh, vaccines, or at least supporting those efforts uh, driven by some major consortia, international consortia. We um, got in contact with a, a group in the University of Texas at Austin who provided us um, manufactured um, native-like material from the latest strain. And they also provided the uh, genetic material for us to also begin to manufacture this material uh, in Southampton. And it was that collaboration that led us uh, together with all our workflows that are already running to be able to um, rapidly analyse the carbohydrate modifications of this, of the latest coronavirus. And we've maintained a, a skeleton crew um, of about three people who've been coming in and, and dedicated to work on the coronavirus. Now, this has been an interesting balance between how do you maintain social distancing whilst also maintaining lab uh, safety. The guys in the lab have worked incredibly hard. Um, uh, it's breakneck speed, frankly. I haven't, I've rarely seen this level of determination and drive. Um, and I guess it's all stimulated by this sort of global, global interest. Running the lab like this has had some big implications in terms of their day-to-day -day activities. And I think uh, there's been a, a, a deep understanding within the, within the team of just how important all the support uh, mechanisms are in running a department. So we're very excited about our ability to support um, the serological testing activities, to continue to support uh, the vaccine community. And we're being sent new immunogens from partners all over the world to compare uh, the carbohydrate signatures of their material compared, compared to the material we've just been studying. But also the environment at Southampton has been tremendous. The, we've been, the lab's been located in Southampton now for just over two years. And within that time, uh, we've been able to get the lab running incredibly efficiently. And it's been a really tremendously supportive environment, not only academically, highly collaborative. We benefit so much from our colleagues supporting us in areas where we, we have less expertise. I'm very grateful for that, um, that environment that's made all this work possible.